back to her in a while. Now, let's see how David Coleman is getting on on NTV. Over to you, David. Ah, uh, you joined us. It's Everton what? Liverpool what? Manchester United what? Now, Manchester United turned up on the pretense they were playing West Ham away. That's when it got really confusing. <laughs> Very good. I like that. I like that. Now, what about Rob Walker? Catch Can you see me? Yes, we can see you. <laughs> right! That's the square of ready money round! <laughs> I'm oh, jolly pleased you're miles from Crinkly Bottom. Have you, have you sought medical advice? Sorry? Can I just say welcome to my brother's home, Noel? Because you say that every week and no one ever says it, do oh, they? I think you, Andy, I think you're being fantastic because Thank we you, do get some people who are a little shocked. But Thank you very much. No, then, no, then, no, then. I was about one. <laughs> Who's that giggling away on the end of the sofa? Over there, that's yeah. my sister-in-law, Diane. Right, where's Mandy? She's over here, mate. Uh, hello, Mandy. Hello. Hi. Uh, good luck. Good luck when you have the baby in five weeks' time. Uh, just tell me about the little man. What little man? <laughs> <laughs> no, keep it clean. Oh, the I, I believe you've got a little man in your head. No, when I got to bed, this little man hides under my bed, and it, it got a chance to grab my ankle. <laughs> So you are haunted by the thought there's a little man who follows you around? Yeah. And, and, and when I go up to bed, it comes back saying I'm waiting for me in the toilet. <laughs> Andy? Yeah. yeah? Are you worried that this is the mother of your child? That uh, <laughs> she no. thinks she's followed by a little man? No, because I can be just as eccentric. Can you? Yeah. What little quirks have you got? <laughs> I don't know really. I mean, to be honest, I, I'm just so shocked about all of this, it's very but hard for me. I believe you're a very hard-hearted man at times. Am I right in thinking that when you and Steve went to a Rod Stewart concert, his wife fainted, was taken off by the St John's ambulance, and you stayed to watch the rest of the concert? Rod <laughs> well, Stewart is our life. We, yeah. he's, I'll just say on national television, the man is God. Is he? <laughs> well, I think you might have offended a few churchgoers there. But, uh, <laughs> I'm more on uh, the other chap's side. But if you like Rod Stewart, good luck to you. Yeah. And um, we've got a nice little opportunity for you now because we've got some gear for you. We've got some singers for you. Back to Have you, you okay? Week, no. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, don't worry, we'll come back to you for a prime performance, okay? Right. So that's Andy Furno, who's our star of NTV this week. Now, I, uh, I forgot to give you a question for Grab a Grand, and it's very simple because it's all about football. Tomorrow, it's Norwich City against Tottenham Hotspur in the fourth round of the FA Cup. And when they're playing, how long to the nearest minute will it be before the first goal is scored? You can call us on 0891 800 300. 0891 800 300. And watch the football on BBC One. And if you've got... Hang about. Excuse me. There's somebody at the door. I wonder who this could be. Hello? worse than I thought. How long have they given you? Well, it's 55 minutes. Same 55 minutes? You've got a moment to lose. Let me take your pulse. <laughs> I can't feel anything. Well, you're dead or I am. <laughs> and have you looked in a mirror recently? Yeah, well, I looked in a mirror this morning and, and then at lunchtime and then uh, this afternoon and then... And uh, I bet I, I know what you thought. You <laughs> said to yourself, I must replace this mirror. This one's got all wrinkly. <laughs> am I right? Afraid so, yeah. Yes, Mr. Edmondson. Well, I can help you. Edmund. Yes, Edmund. Yes, Nolly, I'll just call you. I can, help you. I can actually be your personal fitness manager. Oh. Now, when was the last time you had a physical? Oh, she gets these headaches. <laughs> I know the feeling, me, yes. Now, what I can do is I can get rid of that flabby old shin of yours. What? I can puff out that puny, scrawny chest. I can replace <laughs> all the unwanted flab and turn it into a muscle, you see. <laughs> so do you want to join the crinkly bottom gladiators of the world, Master Gladiators Leisure Centre? Well, how many members are there? If you join, yeah. one. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm being a little circumspect and cautious here because I believe a close friend of yours thought that you should have decked me after what we did. Yeah, obviously I didn't agree with him. It's good to see you again now. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bit of a lip there, Will. I have, yeah. How did yeah. that happen? Just playing today, actually. Was it? Just playing today. It wasn't quick enough. Did you win? We did, actually. Which makes, worth makes a change. Then, yeah. yeah, great. But you also said something to me right after the, the gotcha where, where I got the impression you weren't worried about whether the nation saw it, but you were more concerned about the England team actually uh, <laughs> getting a glimpse of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. My secretary has been ringing them all up just to make sure that they're watching tonight. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they, you know, they won't mention it that much for the rest no, of the season. No, of course not. It'll soon be forgotten. Yeah. I was a bit worried about how efficient your secretary was, so I've got five of them now. Guys, come on, boys! Somebody round the far end. Get yourselves comfortable. That's it. Right. That's it. Move up that way. Okay. Come on. Shift it along. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is before they get the scrum. Okay, chaps. It's well worth looking at here because we're talking about someone who is going to show tremendous international diplomacy. A man who you could never call someone who's keen on gratuitous violence. And listen carefully for the little asides because there's some gems coming. We join. Will Carling, in the first stage of our rehearsals. I can teach you how to play, Mr Blobby, yeah. but we, we can't play without a ball. Oh. Have you got a ball, Mr Blobby? <laughs> we haven't used that term today, but we want a Debbie McGee gesture. Which means... Da -da. That's, my, that's my Debbie McGee impression. Um, yeah, it's uncanny, isn't it? That's the bloody rugby ball. <laughs> now, oh, can you remember? And then we, then we adjust the position. So this is the cue for being surprised by the appearance of the ball and carrying on with the dialogue. <laughs> wow, brilliant. Now we can have a game. Yeah. I tell you what, you can be the Blobby Land team. Oh, yeah, the way you And I'll, I'll be the England team. I can understand why you said England team. But I you want the British kit team, do you? Well, it's... It, it's just it excludes all the Welsh, Scottish kids, you know. Exactly. The Irish. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll say British then, even though it's British. We're not worried about the jobs, are we? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's national. No, I'm only joking. All right. Well, you can say the British team, but we're not having any jobs, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are these little boys going to do when they see that? <laughs> uh, well, <coughs> what's a scrum? What's a scrum? Mm. Well, usually what happens is yep. we all bend over and bind against each other and the ball comes in yep. and we have to try and hook it back with our feet oh. to our side. I see. It's pretty stupid, really. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you'll be you'll be ready to kick it, and you say no, Mr. Blobby. Yeah. No, Mr. Blobby, you can't do that. It's against the rules. I kick the ball from here, yeah. but you have to stand behind the posts. Being over there, I think. Unless you're French. Over there, the posts over there. <laughs> so well, I'm sure I'll never be able to remember all this. Be all over the place. <laughs> Beautiful day today here in Blobby Land, isn't it? I'm going to have a game of rugby today, I think. It's a good idea too. Do you know how to play rugby, Mr. Blobby? Blobby, Blobby. Never mind, never mind. I can teach you how to play, Mr. Blobby. But first of all, we need a ball. We can't actually play without a ball. Have you got a ball, Mr. Blobby? Ah, I know. Why don't you use some of your blobby magic? Blobby, blobby, blobby! 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 Shut up. <laughs> would, you, would you mind doing, doing that? It's just that process again. The blobby ball. Holding out, but with a real rugby ball, because that looks weird on the monitor to me. Blobby ball. 
Sorry, Will, to make you go through this. <laughs> hey, Russell. You all right, Barry? I didn't mean to tread on this toe. magic us with some of your blobby magic. You can produce a ball for us. <laughs> I missed that. Come on, Barry. I said anime. I said anime. I said anime. I said anime. You win the game, Mr. Blobby, by scoring points. Ooh. And to do that, you need the ball and you have to run and get over the opponent's goal line and put it down for a try. <laughs> And then you convert that. <laughs> you win the game by scoring Mr. Points book, Mr. Blobby. And you do that by... That. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I thought scoring Mr. points, Mr. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that means I grab you and try and stop you and basically throw you to the floor. <laughs> but what we do is we basically bend down and, and bind against each other and put the ball in. And, and then we try and hook it back to our own side with our feet. So you have to put your arms up here. Oh, right, so I'll hook it back, which means I win the scrum. <laughs> I wish you'd stop swearing. And you, you push. <laughs> That's it. And, and we put the ball in, like that, and then we try and hook it with our feet. So I'll hook it back, and I'll win the scrum. <laughs> right, Mr Blobby. <laughs> and I'm running for the line. Time, but nothing as important as this. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> he ruined my whole season, are you? <laughs> 